Ronaldinho from football legend to bankrupt criminal. Who the Countless legal black. problems, half a year in prison, and a bank oh, account hell, holding less okay. than seven dollars. Oh Sadly, God. Ronaldinho's golden retirement has instead been a total train wreck. He was worth ninety million dollars when he retired in 2015. Whoa! That Only was nine years. Ago. years. Although despite having a salary of nearly 300k per week, Ronaldinho showed through a Coca-Cola sponsorship he was absolutely atrocious at handling his money. He... Coke paid him 750k per year. Bro, oh, bro, we did see the Philly stuff. No, young Philly. Not Philly on Mark. Young Philly, the UK. Yeah, the, the Philly stuff. Bro, bro, I'm just gonna wait. To hear yeah, all yeah, the facts, we need bro. more, please, for the love of God. Under one condition, that whilst in public he'd only drink their beverage. Well, just a couple of months after signing the deal- Bro, sign me! Coca-Cola! I mean, he's a world known- I'm a football. streamer, yeah. I'm a streamer. I'm just as big as Kostanet. It was a dream he had. It was- he woke up and it wasn't true anymore. But he oh, trying to make it. What? what? No, whoa, what no, come mean? back. You brought up my wife. Come back, bro. What? What? Whoa, my fault. I'm sorry. He had a dream where he had a perfect life, perfect wife, kid. He was a big streamer and he woke up and it wasn't true. If y'all didn't know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It just, he woke up and it was all just in smoke. Yeah, my fault. <clears throat> There's a video about Young Philly. It's not, it's not looking good. No damage. Perfect. Perfect time. Take it back, Michael. Huh? Take it back. I do take it back, bro. Fuck, bro. You a bigger streamer. You don't know what it's like to lose your wife and your son. You a bigger streamer than Simba the God, bro. I... Nah, no, Simba the God, the biggest streamer that ever existed. She is, low key. I love Simba. You a bigger streamer than... Wow. You... Aaron, you like 15 times bigger than Kasanat. Let's be mm. real, Tubby. Let's be real, Tubby. Mm. You call me fucking Tubby. Get your fucking hands off me. Tell him that nigga out for a year. <laughs> My fault, let's get, let's uh. deal. Ronaldinho instead promoted Coke's biggest competitor. The Coca-Cola ambassador shot himself in the foot when he rocked up to a press conference sipping on a can of Pepsi. Oh, come As on. As a result, Coke dropped him and stated the sponsorship had become embarrassing. Why would you? Assisted by Ronaldinho's poor performances on the pitch as he'd become Ooh. more interested in throwing wild parties. Ooh. In one example, he was scheduled to play Dumbass. against Man United, but instead the night before before partied in a bar until 3 a.m. Wow, bro. Before a game, do it? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This is your 300k a week job. Come on, bro. Two days before? Okay, I give it to you. The day before? Sweet. So 3 a.m.? Bro. And also, even I know not to, if I'm sponsored by somebody, not to sh drink the other oh, one in bro, public. Facts. Facts, like, bro. if I got Come a, on. if what I got a, mean? if we get a sponsorship from Coke, Okay, and I drink something else. Okay, that's one thing. But if we get a million millions of dollars worth of deal from Coke, bro, I, you're not look, gonna see me drinking hey, Pepsi, Coca Cola, bro. bro. Look, Coca Cola, bro. You can sign me and Mike to a. Would it be the first streamers y'all sign? Two point eight Come million on, dollar deal. Come on, bro. All right. Reason why it's two point eight million, right? After, and that could be over a couple years. Too. That could be over a couple years. Type look, shit. look. Sprite is a Coke product. He loves Sprite. Tight shit. And Dr. Pepper. And Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I love Coca-Cola Coke Zero. You know what I'm saying? We could do this, bro. Coke Zero, you know what I'm saying? I could do that forever. Tight shit. Tight shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A Barcelona board member added, Ronaldinho plays bongos until two in the morning every, every night. night. Everyone knows we have a discipline problem. Ronaldinho is oh, getting oh, older, wow. partying all the time. How do we stop it? Well, stopping Ronaldinho's partying was basically lifestyle. impossible Damn, as he even negotiated a nightclub clause into one of his contracts, allowing him to party at least two nights per Ain't week. No way. Incredibly, Ain't he no wound way. up breaking the contract as two nights of partying simply was wasn't enough, much. justifying his actions by stating, a football player has to have a normal life as a person and as a sportsman. But according to his teammate, Jerome Leroy, mm. this lifestyle was seriously hurting his skills. Bro, Ronaldinho. Bro, bro, okay, bro, wait. Bro. How many days a week do you have to? One night a week is enough. Bro, I don't even like to party. 
one night, a good night of partying should be enough. Two nights should be more than enough. Yeah, Every single week, two thing? nights a week should be more than enough. Come on, what are we doing? You don't have, bro, you have, that's an addiction. Didn't train any day of the week and would just turn up on a Friday for the game on Saturday. Whoa. I think he was trying to follow in the steps of Roy Mario, who would also go out every night, but he didn't have the same success. Without a consistent training regimen, Ronaldinho easily... began to experience oh constant injuries. Beginning in March 2008, he was off the You're field for one full man. year, missing 30 different games, wow. coming from four invisible. different injuries. In the wow. meantime, Ronaldinho started gaining weight, ah. for which he was clowned on by the media. One article wrote, Over the past year, Ronaldinho hasn't looked like the player who led Barcelona to two this straight league rat, titles. Lucky. Another article mentioned wow. the former best player in the universe has already become an increasingly distant memory for the Brazilian national team. He was that good, Chad? He was that good. Chad, he was that good? Bro. You so to... so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, chat. Let me ask you this. Between Ronaldo and Messi, do you think he was that good to be so up to their if, level? If he wasn't was a party, yeah. if he wasn't doing this, would he could he have been at that level by now? He was better than Messi and Ronaldo combined. No shot. Real soccer fans only, if you if you know the or real football fans only. Wow. I mean, this was obviously like wow more than ten him. years ago. So wow, they looked up to him. Wow. Oh my god. And he was that caught up in that lifestyle, bro. You gotta realize if you're getting all these sponsorships and this much praise and this lifestyle, all this money, it's because you are one of the best, bro. It's not. Bro, you have to realize that the training is just as important because bro, that's why you get all the opportunities. He's easily the most talented Brazilian player in the last 40 years. What? Well, yeah, they have more longevity because they went partying their fucking career away. Dude, no way. God damn it, bro. Team, and true or not, gets frequently described as past it without much debate. In 2002, Ronaldinho helped carry Brazil to a World Cup win, but by 2010, he wasn't even chosen to play on the team at all. That's his fault! Understandably, Ronaldinho wasn't happy, believing he was now better than ever, stating, I am back now to how I was. In fact, I think I am even stronger now. Everything seems easier now. I want to play in a further two World Cups. His harsh World Cup rejection forced Ronaldinho to get back into shape. A forum post from 2012 titled <laughs> Ronaldinho goes back to 2004 slash 05 weight explained apparently he's now gone back to his ideal weight of 80 kilos. Jesus On top of this, a Gold.com article proclaimed Ronaldinho is officially back among the world's best, although as you might expect, this didn't last long. Throughout no, 2013, Ronaldinho missed another 24 games games, resulting from two separate injuries. Okay. He therefore Not again the wasn't injury, selected but... for Brazil's 2014 World Cup team, and by 2015 at the age of 35, Ronaldinho's career was pretty much finished. He'd signed an 18-month contract with Fluminense, although after failing to score in nine games and being Ooh. booed by his Ooh. own fans during a league game, Ooh. Ronaldinho's contract was terminated Ooh. after only two months, the club okay. publicly announced. Okay, um, football fans, how many, like, official leagues is it that matter? Yeah. Because I imagine since there's so many clubs around the world, it's not really just one big league like with football and basketball. Yeah. Because so, I know I'm, what I'm gathering is that the World Cup is the one time they come together and just do something, but they had a other leagues outside of that. What four or five, five, six? Like Champion five, League six. and Premier League. Like so, five. can do these teams just compete in whatever league they feel like compete? I guess. Or, or is there like I think there's like classification. Or yeah, or is there I like feel a like classification? The, I feel thing. like it's a classification, like maybe even like country size. Wealth of country, wealth of team, shit like is that. Is it like that? 
It's geographically? Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Bro, four to five national leagues that matter. Dude. Bro, okay. Another question. How many Yeah, so, we talking about we talking about football, soccer in general, like so you know. Here's my question. So Premier League is England. So here's my question. Ronaldo and Messi are the top two most play, paid, right? I'm pretty sure. It sounds like it. They the most known niggas. How no, many how many people are in that same league of pay? Because this nigga is an idiot. He's Mbappe, a, yeah, Mbappe is called yeah. too. I heard about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. These niggas are famous. I want to get one. Where did you get George? I got it from Amazon. Famous. Like Ronaldo, Messi, and Bape are famous. So I can only imagine. Because I've even heard of his name, Ronaldinho, and he was early 2000s. Bro. Neymar, too. Yeah, I know about Neymar, Neymar. too. Yeah, Neymar, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were straight with him and told him it wouldn't work for us. So we decided releasing him was the right thing to do. We are somewhat frustrated. When he arrived, we expected he could do for us what he did for so many other clubs. That's what you think when you sign a player. He didn't do well in Mexico, but we took our chances by bringing him back to Rio, thinking he would do well again. Ronaldinho clearly didn't, but he now had $90 million to retire very comfortably. He'd hire Damn. his brother Roberto to be his manager who confirmed Ronald tell you this right now that nigga ain't had that 90 million that shit was just bro I just he didn't I... had he was first of all taxes in whatever country whatever however his taxes work second of all if he's partying like this bro just bro I just want like I just want like a couple bro bro me, I, bro give me like bro give me give me like a hundred mil bro. God, God, damn. give me one Two, three, bro. Really like 10. 15. Yeah, it don't even matter, bro. Let me see it, bro. It is ended. Let's do something pretty big and nice after the Russia World Cup, where Ronaldinho was spotted looking extremely happy. Behind the scenes, however, really his life had already bongos. begun to fall <laughs> he really apart. Be, no Ronaldinho taxes, used he his earnings oh to purchase 57 properties, okay, one of that which could be being a, good a lake house in the riverside city that could of be Porto a good thing. Ligre. From the house, he built a wharf and dock without realizing it was totally illegal. Legal. As a oh, result, shit. he was fined 1.7 million US dollars, although Ronaldinho refused to pay. It was then revealed he also owed a further two million dollars in unpaid property taxes, and as a result, Ronaldinho has had 57 <laughs> properties seized <laughs> and his Brazilian He do got taxes. He ain't paying them property taxes. Oh, he ain't Spanish he ain't paid passports property. confiscated oh, over oh, unpaid oh. taxes and fines. Oh. Ronaldinho haggled the fishing fine down to 1.5 million, but ultimately still failed to pay, leading the Brazilian Couldn't government pay, to permanently take he and his brother's passports. Uh, now this was extra. Oh, his brother was caught up in it. Oh, oh my god. So he, this nigga bought these 57 oh, properties for himself? Oh my god. And didn't rent up, nigga? Oh my god. Come on, bro. You oh are connected god. enough to know what to do with property, bro. Bro, bro. Like, you are, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro. I get paying taxes kind of hard. You get money. You get over your head in the situation. And you try to fight yourself out of the situation. But 57 properties just sitting there. Here, and, and, and you had millions. Your team. You and your team. Are you had millions. Inconvenience uh, as they wanted brother. to take a holiday down to Paraguay. So they devised a genius plan. Oh, create God. a fake Paraguay passport oh, for my. one of Brazil's most famous people known for playing on the Brazilian national team. As he tried to enter Paraguay, bought a- We know who you are, stupid! Oh my God, bro. Is Simba okay? Yeah, Simba good. Simba good. Good. Protection obviously you know who you are, instantly, bro. placing Ronaldinho in jail awaiting trial. Idiot. Imagine not only being one of the most idiot. famous footballers in the world, idiot. but also one of the most unique, unique. looking ones Nigga. and trying to use a fake passport in South America. Bravo, Ronnie, but wait, it's still- Damn! 
Rarion with the 25 gifted. Shout out, Rarion. Oh, my God. W subs. Jesus. This fool's an idiot, though. This fool's an idiot. You are the most talented Brazilian player ever. You Indeed. think they don't know who you are? And you are, like you said, very unique looking. You stand out from everybody. Yeah, yeah bro. Idiot. Oh, it gets dumber. It is unclear why the former footballer oh, entered bro. Paraguay using the passport, considering Brazilians can enter the neighboring country using their national ID. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's dumb! Idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's actually an idiot. He's dumb! He's actually an idiot. Like, wholeheartedly, he's an what? idiot. What? He's a rich idiot. He's a rich idiot. Like... If I he's retired, he's retired, bro. Basically, Ronaldinho could have gone to Paraguay without Easily. using a passport at all. To add a cherry on top of the cake, Ronaldinho claimed he didn't know the passport was fake and he believed he had yours. been given they his Paraguayan it. passport as a gift, they assuming it was an honorary type document of no Rarion, real value appreciate and you. gave it to an official w without mass. thinking when he reached Paraguay because it was the first thing he got out of his bag. He retired, was therefore bro. even roasted by his own lawyer. Ronaldinho wasn't aware <laughs> that he was committing a crime because he didn't know they were fake oh, documents. Lord, he's, he's stupid, stupid. But the court didn't buy it for a second, and Ronaldinho was jailed for almost half a year. Whilst inside, the prison hosted a futsal tournament, leading teams <laughs> across the prison to row with one another, <laughs> over which would have Ronaldinho on their team. Oh, He'd win God. the final game by scoring 11 goals, eventually leading that a judge to conclude it. there is no indication that he has any that personal is. characteristics that or criminal that behavior is. that would put society at risk and Ronaldinho was therefore released from prison with hey, he's stupid but that nigga was in there cooking them <laughs> yeah, cooking. <laughs> it too easy yeah. cooking them too easy cooking yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> this was bad, bro. The $200,000 fine. However, he had no hope of paying this. In fact, the reason he and his brother initially had their passport seized was because an investigation into their bank accounts revealed a balance of just 24.63 Brazilian real, or $6.59. Ronaldinho's plan to rebuild his life was to launch a cryptocurrency, release... Come on. From ninety mil to six six dollars, and he didn't even pay the fines or his property taxes, so you can't blame either one of those. It was strictly the properties and the partying and the splurging spending. Now he want to do a crypto sock. His plan to rebuild his life was to launch a cryptocurrency, releasing the a mango, appreciate the gift coin is project, subs. which gained just 61 Instagram followers. Oh. With his own coin failing, Ronaldinho oh. instead promoted other shady crypto projects, always being met with understandable critique. Appreciate your hello killer. With for the you are bankrupt again. In Damn. case you forgot, here are all the crypto projects you pump and dumped over the years, oh. only leading to even more problems. Ronaldinho denies part in alleged 61 million crypto scam at congressional hearing. His likeness had been used to promote a cryptocurrency which promised a return of 2% per day. After the crypto inevitably turned out to be a scam, oh Ronaldinho was brought oh before the God. government, although he claimed oh he was God. never partnered with the company and it used his name and image without his authorization, arguing oh he was God. also a victim of this the purported scam. And I bet you, I bet you he pushed the company. Scam. Yeah. Yeah. But Ronaldinho yeah. took this photo yeah. specifically for the company and also had a history of involvement in these kinds of shady projects. Oh, Additionally, Jesus Ronaldinho Christ. had failed to appear before two oh, previous my. hearings related to the inquiry. He said weather conditions meant he was not able to attend. His involvement is up for interpretation, but it seems he was sufficiently rattled as he'd pivot to promoting traditional products where he'd only experience even more issues. Oh, Ronaldinho Jesus. You know this book. This, he's just genuinely stupid. He just, he just, he's he like it's nothing up there. Falling and falling. I just keep <laughs> like he's just genuinely bro. stupid. 
Oh my golly! Go posted to his Instagram. This is a sad time for anyone who likes Brazilian soccer. It's hard to find the energy to watch the games. This is perhaps one of the worst teams in recent years. It has no respectable leaders, like? just average players for the most part. I've never seen a situation as bad as what are you this. About? I repeat, our performance has been one of the worst things I have ever seen. It's a disgrace. The post was shared to Reddit and people weren't happy. Criticism is fine, but straight up quitting on the national team in an official post is something to say the least. Damn. Imagine your idol saying really that care. about you and your teammates, killing Damn. their confidence. Jeez. Well, only one day later, Ronaldinho returned to Instagram, revealing the nasty message was actually an ad. I would never abandon Brazilian football, never. And I would never say the things huh? you saw. In fact, these words came from real Brazilian huh? fans. They are real comments I saw on the internet. Guys, what our boys need is some support at this time. That's why I joined Rexona in this movement. We are asking everyone to send messages of support. Hashtag Rexona does not abandon you. He Oh dude. my god. Dude is oh terrible. Oh my god. He's terrible. Oh he's terrible. Bro, he can't. He's bro. terrible, dude. Talk about horrible decisions. Bro. He's damn broke, isn't he? Ronaldinho's finances haven't been discussed recently, Get but off judging the by jet, photos bro. of him taking private Get jets, off the jet, it bro. seems he's rebuilt his life at least to some extent. No, he haven't, bro. He's capping. Bro. He's flexing nothing. Bro, he's bro. renting that space, bro. That's bro. a fake jet. There's just rocks just tumbling. Every time he moves his head, boy, bro, he a, you know how I say like CJ got a ferret, like a, a gerbil, a hamster yeah. in his head? He got a ferret. Yeah, because what?